Hello everyone, my name is Clint, otherwise known as Mr. Clintastic, preparing to jump into a Theros Beyond Death sealed event on MTG Arena. If you enjoy my content, please be sure to like and subscribe to help my channel grow in the future. Let's dive right in. Okay. Okay. Last draft didn't go too well, or sealed event. So I'm going to see if I can just be a little more aggressive this time. Look at some of my lower drop spells. Like this guy's a life linker that can give protection. Um, Daxos gains life. Hero to Prides. You know, flash pump type abilities. Like White's looking pretty strong already. Arbors cost one less to cast. Heliod's Pilgrim for Tutor. Huh. I'm not a big on putting cards on top of my library, but they can it could come in handy. Oh man. Are we gonna end up being mono white? I wish we could end up being mono white. Let's see what we got as far as um As far as artifacts. Yeah, we're gonna have to go a second color, clearly. Let me see what we got as far as like dual colors. Do I wanna go like white green here? That bronze line it looks, like this card looks strong, but you know, it takes forever to get back, hard to, to do. This card's the same way. Let's see what we got as far as green, like just feels like we have a death toucher right there boom land definitely a fight spell that may get played hydra's growth i'm interested in that card i want to see it i want to try it a little more so green looks like it has some things that i would want to play like a, these voracious typhoons look good and like a five drop trample creature gives my other guys trample. Yes, please. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Maybe I don't need the amulet because I'm only going to colors. I'm go like 15 lands. Take out that forerunner. Sentry. Huh. Maybe it. Yeah. Well, no, we'll, we'll add. We'll keep it a little more balanced on the white lands. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Not a bad hand whatsoever. We're gonna drop our white. We get to play into our two drop flyer that makes our auras one less to cast. Sweet. This is shaping this is looking good. They got the dragon. We got the we got the Cerberus. Life could it be greater? Battle of wits, battle of uh of uh mythical beasts.
It'd be sweet if we get a uh, white land next turn. We did not. It'd be cool if we get a land at all next turn at this point. <laughs> oh, oh lord. Okay, okay. Oh no. And pass the turn, I suppose. This Atessian training has been a big problem. What are these Atessian cards in general? I don't think we can play through that. Good thing it didn't swing. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. We get our Typhoon out. We're gonna swing. And we get to drop another one, a snake beast. Oh man, this is a battle of mythical beasts. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Things about to get swifty real quick in here if they don't uh do something crazy. Oh my god. Herberos! Oh god. Okay, okay. We got warriors, plants, gorgons, snake beasts, griffins, cat soldiers. What is going on here? Cer Cerberus, dragons. Oh my god. It is oh. I think, like, I don't know if y'all know, like, there'd be, this is a complex game. And I think that's what, like, drives some people away from it. It's because there, there's so many little details to the game. Um, yeah, we're just gonna get, just gonna swing in for one. That's all we can do here. Like, it might look like we're at a decent enough point. And people might be like, why are not I swinging in? But I, ugh. I don't know why they're not swinging in. But like creature types matter, attack and toughness matters, or power and toughness. Abilities matter, like this dude has been doing so much, well, I say dude, do that, whatever she wants to be called. Been doing so much work, been doing so much work. Five, seven, what are we gonna do against that? <laughs> The only card that's doing any damage to him is a 1-2 flyer. Now he wants to swing in. I'm like, well, we can't block, clearly. We need one more white land for bronze line to be, you know, decent. Actually, he's going to be really good because he can just block and gain destructible. Dude, come on. There we go. So there, we're just gonna drop that. A 3-3 three, three with basically indestructible. Let's make sure none of these guys have reach. Oh, they all have trample. Jesus. So this game is probably wrapped up. Like we can block their biggest creature and give our creature indestructible, but they're gonna still trample over it. We can block another creature and make it so that 
it has protection using the all side of life's bounty so it could potentially give like two creatures uh, semi indestructible we don't have any cards in our yard no value wow oh my gosh okay 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 yeah they clearly don't like my face clearly don't like my face Oh no! Get that pro black. All right. So can double block here. Block here. Do we take the five? I get I don't wanna block there. This is painful. We just take nine. I don't think so. We needed one more white land. Yeah, we blocked there. That's how things shake up. Oh, this had protection too, so it we actually oh that worked out for us. Wonderful. Wonder please. Okay. Um We we can slip flying on something, but they crack back. And they have a flyer to block with actually now. Huh. Okay, pass. Man, look at all those cards they have! We're clearly playing... We're clearly playing different magic. Like, come on now. That was defeating in itself. I looked up and I was like, wait a second, it's raining cards on their side. You can't beat an opponent when it's... I don't care people oh, you don't know what they have. Like, you have two cards, they have seven. I'm sure in those seven cars they put at least something good in their deck. Like, wow. Where's all our card draw and things? <clears throat> like, I've been kind of getting whooped.
Oh no! Maybe I should focus more on the creatures. Kind of get used to those. I'm going to count that as creatures. Okay. I'm going to play white. I want green white. I want all my green white creatures as much as possible. So maybe I include this rumbling sentry. This 5-3 beast didn't look bad. This colossus looked pretty good as well. We got two of those, six sevens. Like, I don't mind having a little bit of power in the deck. We need it. What else we got up in? That's it? That's it? How many creatures is that? Oh, okay, that's 18. We got... And we had to really fight for those, though. Got Dreadful Apathy. Triumphant Surge. I might have to play these Blessings. Omen of the Hunt, you know, put it ramps us. That's nice. Prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn. Except combat damage that will be dealt by enchanted creatures and enchantment creatures. So that could work for the opponent too. I don't want to do that. That's too much thinking. I'm going to include this plummet. We were really low on removal. And let me look at what the artifacts have to offer real quick. Uh, and maybe we cut like a white land, go down to 16, play Nyx Lotus to ramp. Okay, I'm cool with that. Let's go. Let's go that direction, cause um, we gotta take all the risks we can. Get I've just been getting stomped, <laughs> left and right. They've been having so much card value, using like this Satessian whatever card. I'm like, wow, I haven't seen it a single time. <sighs> oh well. Oh man, why I? <laughs> this is how you lose games when you keep hands like that. That was definitely a. I sat up, looked at my hand, clicked by accident situation. So we, I mean, we didn't get punished. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Omen of the Hutton is a great card for us. I mean, it, ha it has Flash, like I could have played it last, like on their turn, but... I got excited, I'm sorry. On opponent, we finally got something good going for us. Let us, um, let us have our fun. Let us, like, when the when the opponent's wrecking us, we're clicking through, letting them do their thing. Our opponents be looking like, oh man, goodness, they're ramping by one mana. So if we get one more land, we just kind of get to dro drop this Nyxborn Colossus, and you know, do whatever we want. That'd be ideal. I'd prefer that. That's not what happened. Um, <clears throat> I want to kill that. I don't want to. Like they're gonna just get have to get advantage on that. 
I could play this lion here, but we're just gonna lose it in my opinion. I guess we are playing the, the lion, and if we lose it, we just lose it. We're gonna sacrifice the omen of the hunt and um scry. I just didn't feel like um dreadful apathy on that like this is gonna do any good. We gotta kill that thing. Like I might have to do it eventually, but not right now. I'm gonna try to play Nyxmore and Colossus next turn. It would have been nice to curve out into that. Kind of back this in a small little corner. And even if I would have scried at the beginning of the turn, I wouldn't be able to play the card, even if I would have found the land. Yeah, I figured. Right, did you get four damage off on this nice and smooth? Okay, white land on top. And yeah, we'll keep both of those. Yep. Yep, value town, value town. Draw. I'm just gonna drop this Colossus, a 6 7, see what they wanna do with that. That's what we wanted to do last turn, opponent. You just don't know. You just don't know. We have to play the magic that the magic allows us to play. Oh my god! Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. What is this? What is this? Oh man! This is insane. Did I keep that? This is, in, yeah, yeah, like I could really draw that out, but that was, ooh, ooh, Maybe I could have just played that a little better. I think we got good cards. We bring in the amulet to find the other white land. Man, that was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. Hmm. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to keep it. Keep seven. They start with a Grim Physician. Dies. Target creature and opponent controls gets Nig. Nig one, Nig one. Okay, okay. Sweet. Alright. So we got a turn two play on our hands. Nessie and Wanderer. Whenever we play an enchantment, look at top three cards of our library, reveal a land card from among them, and put that card in our hand. So that's going to pair very well with Omen of the Hunt. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa! Oh man, the opponents are showing us no love in these streets at all. No love in these streets. Um, 
Like, do I even want to ramp right now? I, yeah, I do. I do want to ramp. And this has flash. Well, I'm saying we don't have nothing. Oh, man. The opponent's just doing whatever they want to us. Just completely disrespectful. Completely, utterly disrespectful. They'll probably take our Forerunner. I would. Oh, they take our Lotus. Huh? What's the third chapter of this? Is our target opponent's graveyard? Huh? How are we plan to deal with this? We must have the flat out removal. Opponents have been pretty dirty handed. Underhanded. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we get to drop old boy here. Drop one drop. Pass. At least we have spells to play. Even though this dude's been completely ridiculous. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? Like digging all in our hand. He's only on three, three mana. Is, is black green just that heat? Is black green seriously just that heat? Because something fishy is going on here. Yeah, we're going to look for our card. Um, this is dreadful apathy. We can make so something fight something. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Get that off the board. Get out of here. Alright. We're going to put a stop on our upkeep. Try to get a scry going. The Tessian champion, uh, freaking nemesis of a card. Okay, how much land we need? We got six already. So we'll put the other green down to the bottom. And um, we getting in there like somewhere. Boom. Four six. Now we're dropping a 6-7 next turn. Hopefully he doesn't dig in our hand again. Let's make him wonder what we're doing. We're just going to take that. Alright. 6-7. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Horn Beetle, okay. Skirmisher, alright. He doesn't have any flyers, that's useless. Um, any of these Death Touch? Nope. Yep. Boom, boom. Boom. All right. We can just get rid of two creatures, two for one. Instead of a one, yeah. Yeah. We'll take that all day. Thanks. And my guy, and our guy comes back, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <clears throat> we'll just end the turn here. Oh no. They're getting rid of our uh, of our guy. Get a white land in our hand. Resolve that nonsense. Opponent is just completely, just utterly disrespectful. 
We was gonna bring that back this upcoming turn. We was there. Our devotion to white is kind of trash right now. I feel like he's just gonna dig in our hand again. It's just a one two at that. We get like two. You know, no. I'm gonna wait, try to get some more devotion to white. We're swinging in for with a six seven. That's already a threat enough. You exile your stuff. Boom. Oh man. It's getting real out here. Getting real trill out here. Oh no. Oh man, I should have played my guy. I say that now, like, oh my. I didn't think he would even have enough creatures. Enough spells in the yard to do that so many times. I wasn't paying enough attention. I could have probably had at least two more creatures on the board and did that whole little strategy there. Yikes. Wrecked again. Alright, I'm going to give it one more try for today. Then I might play some standard. Y'all, if uh, y'all watching on you on Twitch, check me out on YouTube, Mr. Clintastic MTG. Thank you for tuning in.